It's Halloween coming up on the 31st. Hey, YouTube out here. This is Bob, really happy to probably present to you Slick Halloween Classic Magic Pranks and Freaky Tricks. Now, oh, here is your host of the Halloween videos. The hostess of the mostest, Reese Naivo. Hello. I am your host, Reese Naivo, with these incredible Halloween tricks. You can surprise every one of your family and friends with some really cool freaky tricks this Halloween. Okay, so what is it on the list? I've got it from how many tricks from numbers 1 to 12. As it is, let's dig into them right now. Okay, let's get to our first one, and that is the growing ears trick. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see my ears here. Wow, so I'm going to go from one here. That is a really bad earache. I got like. Watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just rub my ears together. Watch what's gonna happen. Okay. Watch. Gonna see. One. Decides to grow. And on the other side. I have the other ear. How is this done? Let's reveal the secret behind it. Okay, at first, I will shrink my, my ears down. How is this trick done? I'll show you. It's very, it's very, very simple. Because all that, that you will need is what you see here, these pointy ears. You can get these in the um, part where they sell prosthetics in the Halloween and seasonal sex in the, in the mall. What you're going to do is you're going to palm each one into your hands. Just just like this. And all you got to do is just a little bit of pressure on. All you got to do is just you, you come up to your... your your ear like this, your rub. That's going to allow it to um, set on the ear, and then it becomes a part of your ear like this. Again, that same thing from over here. That same thing. Making sure you do not expose it right away. And as you do, 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 do that, you that, you can actually say I'm just going to massage my 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 ears and uh, by magic um, they'll grow in to pointy ears you can do it with one or you could, you could do it too that one um, like that so you can see like that again practice makes 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 a 
perfect by making sure that you're massaging it. So that way it builds the suspense of the magic and it just magically makes your ears grow into pointy ears. Like what you see here. And then, if I'm to shrink them, all I gotta do is, as a massage, take them off, come down, drop them to the, 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 the your lap, and make them dis disappear. And having your reg regular ears exposed after, so you can you can grow them. You can also. Um, bring them back into your original ear state. And that is how you do the growing ears trick. Now for our second one, which is the twitching monsters hand trick gag. Here is the performance. So you can see my little monster hand here. I got some eggs, some, some uh, a, a, a chocolate bar. So a small chocolate bar. Watch, we put this into here. Watch. Whoa. Okay. I'll tr I'll try that one again. Watch. And last. Whoa. You can see. The monster's hand. You want to know how this is done? But you reveal a secret behind the twitching monster's hand. Okay, here's what you'll need for this trick. All you'll need is a, cho a, a chocolate bar and this monster hand. Now, this monster hand can move like this. Now, how's it moving? It's moving with this. That you're gonna have it cradled into the bed of your pointer finger and your thumb, like this. So it does that, right? So as you put the chocolate bar in, right here, it's gonna to, uh, kick the chocolate bar out. Okay, and I'm now going to, to uh, uh, show you at a different angle on. Um, the uh, kicking this off again, you can see, like that. So as it is, I'm going to take it down to the table. Okay. Here. Again. You can see. This this week here will make a really cool trick or treat trick that you could do for when uh, kids come and uh, you know trick or treat. You could also say you can take this out and before you put it into the bag, they say trick. Well, here's your trick. All you gotta do is put your your, your chocolate bar in, get a flick, and it'd be a really great if you can actually use this and catch it. Or you can do, do that and end up in their trick or treat bag. That's all there is to it. It's a very interesting one, one you could do for Halloween around the trick or treating time as well too. Okay, now for our th third one, which is the finger biting rat prank. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see this right here on the uh, the the. Uh, Hit a table. I better watch out for its teeth. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to just uh, rest it here. You can see. I'm just gonna have to just uh, give it this guy a little pat here. This. Okay, as it is. What? And then just shove my finger into the rat. Ow! Okay! Yuck. Why does it do that? Come on, cough it up, cough it up. Come on. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, well, I got pits on my, I got pits on my finger again. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, maybe I should, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have put my finger in that, in, in that rat. As you just seen, my finger just got bitten off by, uh, by the rat. Drat. Or old drats. Okay, you want to know how this is done? It's about to reveal a little secret behind the fin the finger biting rat. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a rat. We can get this in the um, the Halloween section in the mall. And the next thing you'll need is something to go on to your your uh, finger. Here's what you'll be needing. Your thumb tip. What you're going to do is going to fold your finger like this. Your pointer finger is what you kind of put into the rat like that. Okay? So you, what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger over and put your thumb tip on top of it like this, making sure that it stays nice and flush to all the fingers and kind of hoist up just a little bit because it's the pointer finger, right? So you want to make it look like an actual pointer finger. Right? So here is what's going to look like like this. So here is your pointer finger. Right here. Um, so from, here, from a distance it looks like your real finger. So from the uh, rat, you take your rat, making sure it has a has a, a snout that looks like this that can fit on to your thumb tip like this. Okay, so now it's um, inside there. And then all I gotta do is make a big, a big fuss like, ow, it does bit me. And then, you can, then you're gonna try and take it off. And as you do, it looks like as if the, your finger got bitten off. By the rat, this is the thumb tip. Your fingers hit in here. All you gotta do is um, you're gonna take your thumb tip out from the mouth after telling it to you like cough it up or spit it out. The way you can do that is just hold your, your finger here and retrieve it. Then drop it out so that it actually uh, cough, uh, cough it out. Okay, from there, you're going to um, take your thumb tip up put the rat aside and then I gotta do is you put your thumb tip into your hand like this you're going to actually put this on like onto your lap like this hand over and bring back your your finger now tip, making sure before it happens, making sure that this is cold up. So as you resume your, your, your finger, it will look like this. So from here. Like that. So it looks like as if um got bitten off, you put your finger back on, and you regenerate your finger, so that your finger now is new again after being bitten off from the rat. And that is how you do the finger butting rat prank. Now here's another tip you could do with that is you could add some fake blood inside of it. So as you do that, the blood will come come gushing out to give another really cool effect to it as well too. So let's go th throw a that out as well. Okay, so as it is, now let's get to our fourth one, which is the eye out of socket freaky prank. Here is it. the freaky performance right now. Do it. My eye is so itchy. I feels like I just want to like, take, it, take out my eye. Oh, man. Oh. Jeez. You can see that my hand's completely empty here. Watch. Oh! Ah! Ah! 
Okay, let's slip this back into my eye again. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Woo! How is this prank done? But to reveal the secret behind the eye of the socket. All it is is this fake eye that you see right here. Okay, what you're going to do with this is making sure that your palm it into your hand, making sure that this hand is empty all, all, all the time. So then as pretending that you have this really like itch, itchy eye or a sty in your eye, right? And you just say that, you know, it just it hurts so bad that I just want to take my eye out, right? Which will sell this prank, right? So as you're, you're itching, you can itch with this hand and itch with the other hand. And as you itch, you're going to you're gonna actually, as you take your other hand, you're going to actually pass this into your other hand, like this. And then you come to, come to your eye, come out, take, dig under, exposing the eye here, kind of pull it out just a bit to give the uh, effect of it out of the socket, put it back in, and then shove it in, and as you shove it in, you're going to actually put it into your palm again, like this, move away. But keep it in like this, so your 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 uh, fingers are right into your socket. You're gonna drop it into this hand here. Careful as I get exposed. And then this will come down to the, the uh, table or into your pocket. Then they're, they're focusing on your eye. And then what I gotta do is move away, open your eye a little bit, showing your eye is now back in to your socket. And that is how you do the. I out of socket freaky prank. Now for our fifth one, which is the the card in arm prank. Here is the cutting edge performance for you right now. You can see I got my uh, my deck my deck of cards here. Okay. You can actually just shuffle the cards up a little bit like this. And this I'm gonna have one card to actually you can see here. Watch this. I'm gonna take one card. And watch. See the through and through. I'm just gonna take a look and see. Ow! Watch, because it's right through. Ah! Whoa. Uh, where did the rest of the car go? Oh, I, think I might have to go get that out. Okay, how is this freaky trick done? So let's reveal the secret right now. Here's what you'll be, be eating for this really freaky prank you can pull off this Halloween. And that is the only is an old deck of cards. And then exactly when I be careful, the blade is sharp. Because what you're going to do with one of the cards is you're going to create one that has um, a cut that's in the same shape of your wrist. So it looks like this. Okay. Now to give the gore effect, making sure that you have your 
fake blood. And that is what you'll see right here that I'm holding up to the camera. Okay, to apply the stiff blood, you can do it in many ways. You can do it with a sponge, um, like that. But if you want to um, get it in one central area, which is what you'll, you'll need, because you can have to hold your arm in a way that you don't see it until you plunge that card into your arm. Okay, so the next thing, thing you'll need to apply the blood is a paintbrush. Okay, here is um, how to apply. It's pretty simple to apply fake blood, but I'm going to sh sh show you the general area um, uh, for this trick and in the general area that you should put it. Okay, so all you gotta do is dip your um, paintbrush into your fake blood. Get enough. And apply it. Like this onto your arm, make it nice and kind of thick, so that it is seal. It's seal. Be careful not to go above here, or you will get to see it. You want it so that um, you'll see it once you plunge the card into your wrist. You can also uh, thicken it up a little bit by just putting some a little bit of blood onto it like that. That right there, it gives a nice, gruesome effect. So that, that, that's, that's, this is what you do before you start the card trick. The okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this card and you're going to hide it with the monks of the other cards. The same as that. So that way, it looks like one of the cards. Okay, and it blends itself out completely well. You don't even get to see it because this way here, it blends so easy into that card. So right there you can you can you can show it here in the back and the front. Be careful. So this this is now facing you. So now as you start going through the cards, you're going to is just uh, take the card once it's down here. Good to now is take the card up like this to get it out. So that so they get to get to see the card. You're gonna actually take that. You're gonna pass it down. Careful not to uh, show this, and then sink it into your arm. Boom! So now it's into your arm. Let your cards drop like you're in pain. Crush up, up your hand. So now to get to see the card is now uh, been impaled through your wrist. You can also uh, kind of move it a little bit too to give a nice, uh, good freaky effect. You can also see if you can come close to get to see how well it looks. It's nice and intact, so you can put push, just a little bit of pressure on it, a little bit, so that way you'll see nice and flush with your wrist. So that way you'll get that freaky effect that you're looking for. And then after, pull out, they get to see the hole in the card. And then show them the, the blood here. And you can see the blood is now on the card as well too. To give a nice cool effect to the card once you pull it out from your wrist. And that is how you do the card in arm prank. Now for our sixth one, which is the finger slits prank. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see here. I got my my, my knife here. Okay, actually, just just gonna see. Can actually have this onto my hand here like this. Watch. Ah! I just sliced my fingers. You see these slits? I don't even move, or my fingers will at, will completely fall off. No, look, you know how, I cannot, wow. Okay, okay, now it's starting to hurt. Okay, hang on a second, I just got to pick up my fingers very, very carefully, so I can just actually um, support them so they don't go accidentally falling off on me. 
Okay, how is this done? I'm going to reveal this very intensely freaky trick you could do for Halloween. I think these slits are very, very real. They do. The knife is real. You can also use, again, your plastic knives, but for, I'm going to tell you the tip what you should do with a real knife, so that way you don't um, have any injury, because, you know, we don't want to have that to happen. I'm going to show you the uh, secret on how to do it properly. Okay, well, anyways, these slits here, there's a secret behind these slits. Do you know what they are? I'm going to actually unwrap them right now. They are pipe cleaners. They got you. Pipe cleaners. All you'll need is one red, one, one red, and then all you need is two black. You're gonna tie the red and the black together. Um, the black at the two ends. What you're gonna do? is you're going to weave this into your your fingers like this. So here you get your black weave go under weave and again weave now the red goes up top weave Making sure all your f all your fingers, except for your thumb, is weaved as well too. Like that weave, weave. That you just tied this into your your finger like that. Like that. And then black on top of the room where the a red is like that making sure all your fingers get the black make so the thing is now the red should be in the middle of the black making sure that you push them together so, so they look nice and, and even, so it looks like this. Okay. And again, I'm going to do this a little bit differently here. I'm just giving you a second here. So that way you guys can see exactly um, how this would look. This just gives you an example on how to weave these into your fingers. Okay, so now that I've got them properly weaved, it's going to look just like this. And it really does look like uh, slits in the finger. Like that. And then now, for a plastic knife, it doesn't matter. But for a r real knife, best bet is to go at an angle like this. So that way, it looks like as if you're actually cutting, but you're not. Okay, so that right there is the safe way of using a real knife. But for those who want to go the plastic way with plastic knives, that's totally okay. Making sure you know, here's a tip for plastic knives making sure that you get a big plastic knife. That way, you'll hide the weave before you give it a slice, like this. Okay, so here, knife now hides like this. Like that, it now hides. So as you move like this, you have to go like that, right? From here, you'll look, look at this. So it gives the effect that you actually sliced your fingers, making sure that they're on the table. You don't want to go like this or you'll give it away. You want, to, you want to actually say that I should not move my fingers or they'll end up falling off. Because look how deep this looks, right? All you gotta do is put your, your hand under very carefully so that your fingers don't go falling off to sell the prank. And from there, you can go run into the washroom and then start unweaving these things and then after after that's done get this a ditch come back and show your friends and family that your fingers 
are intact. And that is how you do the finger slits prank. Now for our seventh one, which is the cleaver to chest prank. Here is the, the stabbing edge performance to you right now. Oh! Hurts right through the chest. I got you. You know how this is done? It's quite simple. All you'll need is this cleaver. It has a block thing on it like this. All you gotta do, because this is fun, you can put it, you can put it onto your head. If you want to, you can put it around your, your neck so it looks like, like that. You can, you can put it any, any way you want in your leg. But for the chest one, I'm gonna show you how it's done. You put it under your arm, you know, where your armpit is, like here, like this. And you just hold it in place. Like that. Okay. So from here, you get this here going in. And then here is going out. Like that. So here, it looks like it's actually coming from the chest, you know, to add the 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 rich um, horror part of it all is if you put a jacket on, and then you like you just uh, go out with your chest, <clears throat> scrub your face like as if this like you like you like you're in pain, and you, you unzip your jacket to reveal this, so you'll look just like this. Okay, before I get to show you that, I'm just gonna put this and put it onto your jacket. Nicely. Make sure it stays loose. And then it just stays in the right place. So you'll look like this. Let me just give you a jacket a zip up. Like that, and you're good to go. So you're walking on, and then all of a sudden, you feel, you feel, feel a little bit une un uneasy. You go, ah! Hold your hand like this. You know what you see the cleaver? Act surprised. And then you just take your jacket off while being in pain. As well too. Then people will think, oh boy, he's he he has he has a soul knife inside of him. Hold down as you take your jacket off. Come back again and then so do walk around like a hunched over, showing every part of the clear into your chest. After it's done, just take it off. And the thing that you'll put, that you'll say as after it is done that you've been pranked. And that is how you do the cleaver to chest prank. Now for our eighth one, which is the Halloween bleeding tombstone. To prank, there is the performance. Do you can see my little old tombstone here? Watch this.
Did you see it? It just bled. Let's see it again uh, up close. I guess we can get to see an up, cl uh, up close look to it. Okay. Watch. Can you see? Whoa. The bleeding tombstone. Now that is definitely freaky. You know how this trick is done? It's about to reveal a secret behind a bleeding tombstone. Here's what you'll be needing. You'll be needing this tombstone. And you see here, this little small moan, you see here, it actually can sit nicely onto a table at the base like this. Okay, and on the back is what you'll need next, which is a syringe. Now, fake blood cannot work in this. You need to um, actually prepare your blood as a um, mix of red food coloring and a little bit of water. Okay, things that you'll well, be needing for this is um, a container to put that in, uh, your red food coloring, just give it a nice good healthy dose. To enrich it, you can see the red food coloring is inside here. And now you just add just a little bit, bit, bit of water, not much. Just to um, give it still the rich look of of the blood. This is what you'll see right here. Other things that you'll need is a nice white sheet of paper paper towel, so that um, it is very easy for everyone to see. From here, you're gonna actually is make some holes in the two stone. One right here. That's where your syringe is gonna go in the back here, like this. It's gonna pop, screw it in like this, so that it fits nice and snug. It'll fit nice and snug, just like this. So now that way, you're ready to work your bleeding tombstone. Okay. For, uh, first up is get your uh, your blood solution and uh, inject it into your, your syringe all the way and then from there you just get your little tombstone put it in all set and ready and loaded to go then you just hold it just like just like this. Yeah, so you you getting you know, your, your friends or whatever like that to get to see it. And you pay, pay, to have them to pay attention to the tombstone and say, "Watch the tombstone's gonna bleed." All you gotta do is you're gonna pipe this down here like this, and it does that right. So that way, that's what you get to see and do. They're looking over here. And you go like this, be very sl slowly as it now starts to trickle out from the mouth, heading down, and they get to see the blood that is now dripping from the tombstone. And that is how you do the Halloween Bleeding Tombstone Trip Prank. Now for our Ninth one, which is the magic skull in crossbones coin coin chamber trick. Here is the performance. Okay, so you can see here, I got my skull and crossbones coin in the chamber here. You can see see that my hands com com completely empty. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually buy magic. Watch. You can see, mysteriously vanished. Watch this. Watch. And it comes back 
into my hand. How is this done? But to reveal a secret behind it. All it is is a magnet in a coin. It goes on here. That is Swiss. It'll vanish. Right there. This, you pass and pass like that. Same time as you're doing that. So that way, it'll be like this. So, you're gonna sew. as you pass this, you're going to drop this. Pass there. Again, pass here. Click up. It'll vanish. Hand it over. And then, magically, get the skull and crossbones crane that disappeared from the chamber. And that is how you do the magic skull crossbones coin chamber. Magic trick. Now for the 10th one, which is the magic disappearing skull trick. Here is the performance. You can see. Look, you can see here. I got my skull here. I'm gonna put this in my hand like this. You can see. Watch. Yeah, skull completely vanish. How is this trick done? But to feel the secret behind it. All it is is a retractable keychain that's actually attached to a skull and dressed up to the arm. Like this. So it's like this. So it. So you're hiding this. Let's put your hand. Be quick. So now do you think it's in this hand? And make the skull completely vanish. And that is how you do the magic disappearing skull trick. Now for our 11th one up, which is down, which is the magic eye ball and ball trick. Here is the eye widening performance right now. Okay, first you can see. Got the eyeball here. And I have us empty there. You can see here. Watch, well, just gonna put this into into this eyeball and actually put it into a ball. Watch. Ugh. You can see right here. It's now into the ball. How is this very fantastic trick done? But reveal the secret behind it. Okay, so here is how it's done. All you'll need is a ping pong ball eyeball. It's the same as the one on the inside. Very, very similar. So what you're gonna do is gonna palm this to, into your hand. Show your hands completely empty. As you're passing it all once, holding the ball like that. So now. You're gonna do the trick. All you gotta do is hold this down. And as you push down, you're going to push the ball up. The eyeball is down to your hand. You're gonna retain it to your hand. Soon, soon, soon as you take the ball and push it outward, this is now going to be ditched into your pocket when you're at an angle. So now they get to see the eyeball into a ball. And that. It's how you do the magic eyeball and ball trick. Now for our last one at number 12, which is the magic trick or treat candy bag trick. Here is the C performance right now. Okay, you can see, I've got my, my uh, trick or treat uh, snack bag here. You can see, you can see that back here. You can see, you can see the inside. It's completely empty. So I'm just gonna reach in like this. Watch this. I can just go like this. Watch. Go in. And magically pull out a chocolate bar. How is this trick or treat trick done? I want to feel the secret. Behind it. all you'll need is a chocolate bar of, of a choice, and all you'll need is just a 
little baggy, this uh, Halloween trick or treat baggy that you, see, that you see here. All I gotta do is make sure that this is plumbed in the back here. So no one gets to see. So they can see the uh, back and the front. You can put in the, in complete, the complete inside of the bag that's complete, completely empty. All I gotta do is gonna go in here, hold the, 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 the chocolate bar, turn inside out. So now this is the inside out of the bag. It has been completely empty. All I gotta do is reach in. And by magic, pull out a chocolate bar, or a sucker, or whatever that you want to use for this trick or treat wander trick. It's a very unique one because after the trick, you can actually give out the chocolate bar to that. So it's it's kind of like a, a trick or treat trick. And then once that trick is done, you can give, pop this into their bag. Trick or treat. And then have a happy Halloween. And that brings us a, cl a yeah, close in this one here. Hope you enjoyed all the tricks here so far for the Halloween stuff. Uh, we've got more Halloween stuff coming up. As well as there's all 12 tricks you could do for Halloween. So go have fun and have yourself a really good ha Halloween. This is some yours truly, Reese Nabo.